Okay, in this example, I'm going to show you how to find the pool variance given the information. So what are the information? Information is given as if two separate samples, each with n equal to 13, that means there is a sample size n1 equal to 13 and n2 is equal to 13 individual. The first sample has a sum squared 17, 20. Second sample has sum squared 13, 25. Find the pool variance for the two samples. So well, let's take a look here. What is variance let's take a look on the first variance so variance is s square is the variance now we look into on the left this is called full so we have to have a subscript fee so s square fee is going to tell us this is a full variance well why is full because we are talking about two sample okay so full variance is equal to ss1 plus ss2 in other words sum square 1 plus sum square 2 this information is given as you see right up here this is ss1 this is ss2 okay all about degree of freedom so let's actually plug this in whatever is given we just plug this in here so ss1 if you look into here this is going to be the ss1 and of course this is going to be ss2 so ss1 is 1720 plus 1325 over degree of freedom well let's understand degree of freedom for one sample one sample we say you know n1 minus 1 if it is two sample we say n1 plus n2 minus 2 so clearly we have a two sample that is the n1 is equal to 13 and n2 is equal to also 13 so we say 13 plus 13 minus 2 okay so once we have this we're going to use a calculator and i did ahead of time full variance is equal to well in this case is going to be approximately because i rounded up 126.88 so let me show you actually how to use calculator and get this okay so we have if you have a calculator that has n over d, it's easy, simple, you don't have to worry about the parentheses. So n over d, 1720 plus 1325 over degree of freedom. Well, you can type this whole thing or degree of freedom, 30, you know, 26 minus 224, you can put down or easy, 13 plus 13 minus 2, enter. Well, you're going to have a fraction. Of course, we don't want a fraction. You use double arrow or fraction decimal conversion. 126.875. So we round up. That's why approximation. So basically, it's going to give us, in this case, 126.88. Thank you.